Hi, this is Mark. Very quickly, I wanted to go through and share a couple of tips for you for SEO if you're using GoDaddy Website Builder. The reason for that is that some of the most common things that you might want to do to optimize your site, such as title tags or meta tags, on first go don't seem to be available. But the actual truth is that they are. These functions are hidden inside GoDaddy Website Builder, but you need to be a little bit more sneaky about how you do them. And that's why I decided to make this video. So we're going to look briefly at how you can create title tags and alter those in GoDaddy Website Builder. We're also going to look at how to change meta tags. And we're going to look at this both for main pages and for blogs. Um, unfortunately as well, it doesn't seem that changing H1 or H2 tags is possible, but I'll add a little surprise on that for you at the end. So here we go. Um, we've just opened the page. Here we are. Uh, on the main page, quick plug for Libre Translation Services, my website. So let's click on Edit Website, which is where you'll go to. So first we'll look at one of the standard website pages that you might want to try and customize. Just while that comes up, before we go on to look at the, the blog posts as well. So here we are, this could come up in a second, perfect. So let's take a look at a page, for example this one. Let's take a, this, take a look at this page for Slovenian. So basically, if we want to customize a page, we want to customize its meta and title tags, we need to go into settings. So let's go here. We then need to go down to get found on Google. This is the key little tag that I found. Okay. So interestingly enough, let's go and find that page we we're looking at, which was Slovenian. Here we are. Okay, so key point, this headline here, this will appear as your title tag. So what you want to do, ideally you want to plan in advance if you're going to think about your title tags, because if I were to change this now, what I'd find is that GoDaddy would actually create a separate new page. It would copy my original page and set a redirect to it. Um, and I think ideally you may cause quite a lot of problems in doing that, you might have to, for example, um, get Google to not index the first option. You might lose backlinks, etc. cetera. Um, so I would advise, think in advance uh, before creating pages. So think of your page title in the beginning when you're creating those pages, and you'll have the title come up as you want. Now about the meta description, this is the one that we have just a little bit below. So where it says description here, this is your meta description. Um, you can alter this without causing any other issues with the site, unlike what I've just mentioned for title. So those are a couple of things to think about that will help you. Now, if you have a blog post, things are slightly different. So let's go back to the website overall. Then let's go back to click on blog, because obviously a lot of people are on blogs. I use them personally to talk about different topics. Uh, in my industry. Now, the thing about using blog posts in GoDaddy is that you have a little less uh, availability in terms of changing. Um, unfortunately, when it comes down to meta tags, you have no option for changing them at all. Fantastic. Um, so you'll just have to hope that you write your content well and Google should choose a meta tag for you automatically, hopefully. In terms of the title, um, I don't think you can change this in future like you theoretically could have done for a standard page. So what will happen is that your title tag will be generated as your initial title that you make for a page. So for example, this blog post that I've written, if it comes up in a second, is entitled da -da -da -da, Drum Roll Please. Don't you just love slow internet? It's fantastic. So as you can see in a second when this title comes up, translation for UK visa application, your title will be the title tag. It'll be generated automatically uh, by the first time that you put upload the blog post. So I believe that if you actually change it later, I don't think the title tag will change. So that's something else to think about in the beginning. So the title tag for this page will be translation for UK visa application. So there we are. 
any questions, anything further you'd like to ask, um, feel free to write a comment to this video. As I mentioned earlier, in terms of H1 and H2 tags, I don't think they are customizable, but I think you might be able to do them by adding to TML. If I figure out how to do that, I'll make another video. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope that was helpful. See you later.